Uh, hi Pep. Leroy said he don't want to extend the contract next season. It means he want to leave. And welcome to the 96 premium transferred Bayern Munich Leroy Zane card. Uh, obviously went from City to Bayern Munich and EA have awarded him a pretty decent set of objectives here. The Leroy Zane objectives are not too bad given the fact that he's a 96 overall. Very happy to see that he wasn't submitted, that he wasn't received as an SPC. Probably would have been hella expensive, probably for this stage in the game, probably 200, 250,000 coins. Uh, but uh, was very, very happy to see him be a set of objectives and not a bad set of objectives at that. All you have to do assist in two separate squad battles matches with a four-star skiller. I ended up just doing that in rivals. Um, two titles, assist and score in two separate rivals matches using Premier League players. Uh, not too difficult at all. Score in six separate rivals wins using German players. One thing I would recommend if you want a really, really crack card and you want them easy, the lone 80, uh, the, the lone 97 Timo Werner card that you get for five matches uh, would be a decent card to try and do at least uh, two of the objectives in this um, episode. You bang out uh, you bang out the Premier League objective, the two title one, and then also the German goal one where you have to score in six separate rivals wins with a German player and then score 10 goals in rivals using Bundesliga, Bundesliga players. Not too difficult at all. I believe I completed that in about three or four games and I think it took me about two and a half hours to get this card. So a very, very cool looking card. The only issue is you might have a mid already that you're happy with. If we're talking about the 94 Summer Heat Perisic, if we're talking about the 94 Summer Heat Kingsley Coman, if we're talking about the 95 uh, UEL uh, live item Kingsley Coman obviously won himself the uh, won himself the Champions League, so he has a pretty crazy card. Doesn't have the four star weak foot that Leroy Zane has, which was upgraded on this card. Usually he has three stars uh, weak foot as well. And then the 95 Diaby card is pretty damn cracked. But I would go so far as to say this 96 Leroy Zane looks like the best left mid uh, in the uh, Bundesliga. Might just be the best mid in the Bundesliga period. So we're gonna take a look at the card today. If you guys do enjoy, per usual, drop a mad lad like in the video. This was a heavily requested episode. If you guys are new the channel hit that subscribe button down below if you guys are watching the episode yesterday december 1st you guys are the real ones man i appreciate you but uh like i said today we're gonna look at this leroy on a card four star uh weak foot has upgraded from a three star to a four star the stats are just nuts interestingly enough his 91 player moments card which was 177 was minus 177 total in game stats uh down from this uh down from this 96 um has still the same acceleration and sprint speed the 91 player moments card has 96 acceleration. This 96 card has 96 acceleration as well. So it's kind of odd that this isn't maxed out to 99-99. But this one does, however, have some ridiculous upgrades when it comes to shooting, passing, and dribbling. The dribbling stats are obviously cracked. Everything is above 91. Um, and ball control goes up to 99. Reactions goes up to 97. Finishing goes up to 99. Attacking positioning goes up to 99 with the marksman chem style, which is obviously the one that's probably going to be most used the most. Already has 99 shot power with 99 long shots. Uh, and then he's got some pretty decent physical stats to boot for a winger. 86 strength is ridiculous. And then uh, 79 aggression as well gets jacked off with the uh, with the marksman chem stuff. The Bundesliga squad of dreams. This is my Bayern endgame squad. The only thing is uh, we're on the uh, we're on the main account right now. If I was on the RTG, I would have that uh, in Bob's. But this is just one of the best Bayern squads that you can put together. We're going to try him out as a winger. We're going to have him on stay forward and then uh, cut inside as uh, to start off with. And then we're going to also use him as a striker because he does have obviously 99 finishing with 91 composure and has that four star weak foot i want to see if he can get the job done as a finisher as well but match number one with the 96 leroy zane los kids see what that sprint speed looks like he's he's legitimately not any faster than his player moments card there's the dribbling Lewandowski, uh, uh, Perisic, never mind. Don't let the fact that Perisic just scored distract you from the fact that Lewandowski was 100% robbed of the Ballon d'Or. Um, hello? I still love you. Oh, come on. Sigue 
The fact that it took 51 minutes for Robert Lewandowski to get on the board distract you from the fact that he was robbed of the Ballon d'Or. By the way, sign that petition if you haven't already. That that's going to make uh, FIFA, whoever the hell, whatever governing body it is, reevaluate the Ballon d'Or for 2020. Richard Lison, Bruno Fernandez. Ahí va la pelota del área. Bruno Fernandez quiere controlar. Buen disparo. Good goal. That's a good goal. Espectacular Marito que lo ovacionen. La verdad que no me imaginé que iba a ser una cosa de loco. Ahí está y se Oh, that's unlucky. That was, a, that was a trash pass from him. Sunny. Se va a meter por el costado. Avanza firme con el balón. Sunny. Oof. Go on. Leroy Zane's popping off and he gets a rage quit. He made one bad pass. Why do I look like a lobster? Did your lobster boy come away with a little bit of a tan? All right, so we get a goal with Leroy Zane, two goals from Lewandowski, um, no assist from Leroy Zane, 14 out of 20 dribbles completed. I can tell you as a winger, he feels hella, hella rapid. Um, I don't know what happened in that first match, though, but this was exact. Well, he rage quit, so we can't see it, but uh, let's just take a look at the Lewandowski goal. I mean, this just was a thing of beauty. A little bit of near touch. That's a little bit of near touch dribbling right there. And then, uh, I mean, come on. We used him for a game at winger. I think I'm going to try him up top, uh, I'll try him up top there, and then we'll bring on, let's bring on Pulisic in place of Jan Fita Arp, and then we'll have Zane, uh, Zane and Lewandowski up top. Bro, I'm so excited for that partnership, man. That partnership is going to be absolutely goaded. Look at Goretzka taking on two dudes. Then Lewandowski's gone. Tiago! No skates! Se ve escapar por la línea de cal. Atento que se viene buena pelota, lo gritamos, lo gritamos. And that's just what we do. Leroy Zane, that's just what he does. He's gonna go up for his close up because he's damn handsome. Leroy Zane, come on, brother. I cannot wait for this card in FIFA 21, man. Ooh. Come on, boys! Leroy Zane has reached his final form. Wait, wait. Blaise Matuidi? Rage quit. Wait, Blaise Matuidi, Blaise Matuidi has a flashback card? They gave him a weak foot upgrade. So he's gone from two star weak foot up to three. So he's got he's got a he's got three star he's got three star weak foot now. Medium high left footed, 93 acceleration with 88 sprint speed, and this card looks absolutely cracked. He's not going to score many goals for you, but he, yeah. I wonder what do you put on this? Do you put, bro? Dr listen, don't drop a like on the video just for Lee Rosane. Drop a damn like on the video for this 95 Blaze Inter Miami Matuidi. There we go. That's a nice finish right there, boys. Not sure he makes that with the other card, given that he is the weak foot upgrade right there. I'm not sure that he makes that if he didn't have that weak foot upgrade. So, I mean, pretty much feels the way that you would expect from the card. Again, I'm not 100% not sure he's a huge upgrade from uh, from the Abbey. Obviously, 95 rated card versus 96. But, um, I mean, he's an objective player. He's free to he, he's free to get. And if you missed on the Diaby, Leroy Zane is probably a guy you're considering. I guess a question of the, have for, uh, question of the episode I have for you guys. Are, are you playing FIFA right now? And if you guys are, what mode are you playing? Neuer. I have absolutely zero proof, but I feel like no, I feel like keepers have been turned off. See what I mean? He's got 86 strength now. He should be able to body those guys off. There we go, boys. Leroy Zane with the last minute equalizer. We're going to skip. We're going to keep it classy. And we're going to see if we can get the level right. We're going to see if we can get the draw. If there's one thing about this card that he doesn't lack, it's pace. But it's just hilarious to me that his 91 player moments card, like literally, obviously, he's got 99 sprint speed. Uh, 
but the acceleration, why is it not 99 as well? Really? Really? Okay. That's how we're doing this thing, huh? Tony Cruz? All right. Wow. I want to say he finished most of his chances, but the one chance that we really, really, really needed him to finish on, he was not able to do it. Where's the miss? Yikes, man. I mean, this was a thing of beauty. This was great. This was... Who was that? Was that Pulisic? Pulisic running down the wings with Leroy Zane. A couple of the best youngsters in the world. And I mean, this was just an absolute incredible finish. You know, that's everything you want and more. But then that one just leaves a leaves a bitter taste in your mouth. In terms of value, at this stage of the game, I mean, six rivals wins and then everything else pretty much happens naturally. Uh, I'm gonna give it a five out of five in terms of value. Just super, super easy to get and not too big of a, uh, not too big of an ask. Now, um, in terms of on the pitch performance, I was a little underwhelmed with him as a striker. He obviously, I think, scored three or four goals across the uh, two and a half matches that we did play. Um, and then he had that really, really bad miss in the third match, which again. I don't want that to be the main reason that I give this part, uh, uh, that I don't give this card a perfect rating, but um, did leave a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth. And also the weakness uh, was that he just feels a little bit weak. I know that's like the laziest way to describe one of the things that I don't like about him, but um, just doesn't feel like he has 86 strength. It doesn't feel like that strength came into, a, didn't feel like the strength came much into effect. I don't know if it's because of his body type or whatnot, but um, I'm going to have to give him a four out of five in terms of on the pitch performance. So uh, a very, very good card. And if you've got a Byron squad or you're just bored and you're just looking for a card to complete you could do a lot worse than a 96 transferred Bayern Leroy Zane but that is going to do it for the Epi boys hopefully you guys did enjoy like I said have some very very exciting things coming to the channel uh this upcoming week um so keep your eyes peeled for that and apologies for no upload yesterday just really wasn't much to do and then tomorrow most likely we'll be doing the Matuidi inter uh inter Miami episode featuring uh that Josef Martinez so very very excited to bring you guys that but like I always say boys if you guys did enjoy drop a like on the video if you guys are new to the channel Hit that subscribe button down below. I will catch you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Ade.